All right, Shalom, Yasharala, which is Israel, the nation of Israel. Call Halal La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushah, which Yahweh means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of Heavenly Father, who you people call God, Bahashim, in the name of Yahushah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people earthly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I want to give a shout out to the Akim out there that's pushing. And spreading his word, also uplifting the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, into the confusion of faces whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. Okay, though you may look like one of the heathen nations that you are amongst. Okay, the heathen nations being any nation outside of the uh, the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, though you do have confusion faces as I'm talking about now. Okay, if a sea line goes back to one of these tribes through the man. Okay. Any tribe, any nation outside of this, if your sea line doesn't go, does not go back to these twelve, okay, to the any of these tribes through the man, then you are considered a heathen, okay. But to you confusion the faces, okay, that are uh, uh, can receive this, you are Israelites, okay. To the few Aquaf that do this and learn Shalom. To the uh, which is your sisters out there, by the way. To the elect of the nation of Israel, whether you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who this word is going out to. Shalom to you. No. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you combine and consist and make up the twelve tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, okay? That is your uh, uh your real nationality. That's who you are, okay? You're not black, you're not Latino, you're not Native American. Okay, you are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, okay? And um, I wanted to, uh, you know, do a lesson on, basically a video on this. Basically, what happened was, uh, you see, see it in the title. Basically, a rhino poacher killed by elephant and eaten by lions, officials say. And you know that that was judgment, okay? And uh, most likely, this poacher, like most of them are, are Edomites. Edomites are the so-called white, uh, uh, whites today. That is the biblical nationality. Okay, Esau, Eden. Okay, so I'm gonna read uh, this article. Most of it, you know, I'm gonna get the scriptures. Lord willing, this be edifying. A man suspected of being a rhino poacher was killed last week by an elephant, and his remains devoured by a pride of lions at a South African park. Officials said rangers at Kruger. National Park and other searches found only human, a human skull and a pair of pants. <laughs> the park said in a statement on Friday, four of the dead man's accomplices were arrested, the authority said. The man accomplices told his relatives that they had been in the park to poach rhinos on Tuesday night when he was killed by an elephant, locals officials said. A search party, including rangers on foot and members of the park's air wing, searched the area that was described by the family but could not find the body because light was fading. The statement said searchers found the remains on Thursday morning. The managing ex executive of the park, Glenn Phillips, offered his condolences to the family of the dead man who was not identified. Entering Kruger's National Park uh, illegally, and on foot, it's not wise, he said in the statement. It holds many dangers, and this incident is evidence of that. Mr. Phillips said it was sad to see the daughter of the man mourning the loss of their father. But it was sad to see that you was trying to kill a rhino or creation of the uh of Yahweh uh, by Hashem Shah, man. Okay? And really, let's go to the scriptures. Okay? It's no surprise that Esau does that. Okay? I just go in here. This is Genesis because it's in his nature. Uh, 27. I think it's the Yeah, it is. Okay, so um, I'm going to start the 21st verse. 
And the Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two men of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her wombs. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called him his name Esau. And that, the, that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. Okay, and Isaac was three score years old when she buried him, and the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. Okay, and Jacob was a plain man. Jacob is you, you, is you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay, dwelling in the tents, man. Okay, and that's what you see when you see these hunting, uh, all these hunters. Okay, who's the main uh nation that you see? That's the hunter. It's Esau, man. Esau eating the so-called white man. That's in his nature, man. As it says in this verse right here. Okay? So that's in Esau's nature. He's just the, the hunt things for no reason. Whether it's animals. Whether it's uh, people. Okay? Whether it's uh, 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 life in general. Okay? That's in his nature, man. Okay? So, um, I'm going to get one more. Then I'm going to go... I'm going to just read a little bit more, then I'm going to just finish it, get the scriptures and finish it off. Kruja National Park advertises itself as an offering an African safari adventure of a lifetime. At nearly 2 million uh, hect hectares, it is the largest national reserve in South Africa, according to its website, which added that it was home to animals such as lions, elephants, rhinoceroses, leopards, and African buffaloes. Last July, a ranger and police officers said that as many as there were there, as three men suspected of being rhino poachers had been killed by lions at a South African game preserve. Rhino horn is worth about $9,000 per pound in Asia. $9,000. Okay. It is a prized ingredient in traditional Chinese medicine and it is considered a status symbol. It is one of the most expensive wildlife products on the illegal market and that's why these poachers go after it. Michael Slattery found of the Texas Christian University Rhino Initiative said on Sunday the current price for a rhino's horn are anywhere from $15,000 to $50,000 a kilogram. They are seeing dollar signs. It's more expensive. It is more expensive than gold and cocaine, so the man is driving these poachers. And that's the thing about Esau, man. It's all about all about greed, okay, with this man. This man is all about greed. It's not about life with him. Okay, you see that on a daily basis, okay? It's um Proverbs hmm. well, Proverbs. There it is. There's Proverbs 12 and 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Right? And you could tell that this damn, the, the, the righteous man is not talking about Esau. Because you see Esau, he's just slaughtering these animals. Okay? You've seen, a, um, I've seen a recently, uh, it's always in South in Africa, because that's where you have a, 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 a uh, in Africa, okay, that's what you have, which we are not, okay. You so called Negroes are not Africans, we do, though we do have scattered confusion of faces amongst in the whole land of Africa, okay, in parts of Africa, okay. But uh, if you go go into Africa, you've been seeing lately these Edomites. You've seen the Edomite woman, okay. She uh basically was posed up with a full uh full grown giraffe that she shot and killed, okay. You see them uh uh post up after they uh post up. After they shot an uh, elephant dead. Okay, you've been seeing that more and more. Okay? So, the, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel, man. These, man, the so called white man don't care, man. Okay? He doesn't care, man. Okay? Let 
Daniels. Ten. Twelve and ten. Many shall be purified, made white, and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Okay? So no matter, matter how hard you try to get this man to understand that, you know, shooting these animals, okay, was these animals have their purpose on this earth, okay? That you shooting them dead, okay, it's not right, man. And you just gonna messing up everything. But you know, Esau, he's he's the destroyer of the earth, basically. Okay? So he's gonna do continue to do wickedly, man. Okay? He's gonna uh continue to uh do what he do, man. Okay? Just like it says in Isaiah the twenty sixth chapter, let favor be shown on to the wicked. Let me get it, just in case. Uh twenty six or twenty seven. Uh, Isaiah 26 and 10 Let favor be sure to the wicked Yet will he not learn righteousness In the land of uprightness Will he deal unjustly He will not behold the majesty of the Lord man. Okay and That's 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 the thing man He will never learn Okay Righteousness He's going to continue To be a greedy Murderous Lying Cheater or Whatever man Anything that's bad He's going to continue to do that Okay It told you And have a cook one, no, two. Behold, is Habakkuk two and four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up and up is not upright in him. And you know who it's talking about. But the just shall live by his faith. It's talking about Esau, man. He can't do right, man. Okay? He he this man is crooked, man. That's why I call it says that crooked serpent in the scriptures, man. Okay? He he's crooked, man. He's backwards, man. Okay? And these animals. Let me see. It was a scripture, and I think it's in uh, Ezekiel. It's in the book of Jeremiah, I think it is. Was scripture that came to my mind. Um, I might not find it for you no know, for the video. This man, he's not right. Okay, he's backwards. Okay. That's not it. It's in the book of Jeremiah. I just forgot what chapter. It talks about the animals. I think it's the 16th chapter. Let me try 16. If I can't find it, I'm just going to move on. Yeah, this is it. This is good. I think this is it. Um, let me see. So lucky, you know. Uh, yeah. Jeremiah chapter uh twelve, and I start the first verse. The points in the fourth one. Righteous art thou, O Lord, when I plead with thee, yet let me talk with thy thee of thy judgments. Wherefore doth the way of the wicked prosper? Okay, who is the wicked? 
the so-called uh, 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 white man, Esau, man. Okay, wherefore all they that they happy that deal very treacherously. Okay, this man, he he's happy, man. This man thinks, well, he's not anymore. He's down. He's falling. But all this all this time, okay, as the world you know was blind to who he was. Now it's coming out that he he who he is. Okay, he was he's able to commit murder. Okay, lie and cheat to the whole world. And get away with it. And he's still kind of getting away with it. But he's about to get judged. That's why he's going bunkers now. Okay. Thou has planted them. Yeah. They have taken root. They grow. Yeah. They bring forth fruit. Thou art near in their mouth and far from their rinds. But thou, O Lord, knowest me. Thou hast seen me and tried my heart toward thee. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and prepare them for the day of the slaughter. And that's the way in the time we live in there. How long shall the land mourn the herbs every field withered? For the wickedness of them that dwell therein, the beasts are consumed, and the birds. You see, birds due to the chemtrails that's that uh he's spreading in the skies to kill everybody. Okay, well, that's what you're breathing in every day. That's what's on your plants. Okay, it's chemtrails. He's uh uh spreading that, and you just and I seen one uh uh article. You had birds basically by the hundreds just drop dead in the streets. Okay, that was a while ago. Because they said he shall not see our last end. Okay? So that's the thing, man. These animals, uh, 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 everything's fed up. Man. Just like I've been getting out recently. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So does the animals. Okay? So does the earth. The earth is in mourning state. Just like it says in Isaiah, the 24th chapter. Okay? It also says the earth mourning languisheth. Okay? The seventh verse, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? But when the wicked are in the thorn, when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Everything is in mourning state right now, which shows you that the wicked is in power ship. Okay? Everybody's mourning. Everything's mourning. Okay? But now, that covering, that veil, as it says in Isaiah, hold on, let me get that first, then I'm going to get. It says this Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain which this government. Okay. The face of the covering. And who is that he? Yahweh. The face of the covering cast over all people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. Okay. And what was that that covering cast? The lies of Esau. Okay. This man being able to lie his way to do everything he's doing now, man. Okay. That's being lifted up. Okay. By how by Shimia was shot, man. Now everybody is is waking up and seeing, okay, what who the problem of the earth is, man. Okay. This is Job. Oh, let me get that whole chapter. Alright, this is Job, I start the 24th verse. Okay, the point is in the 27th verse. He shall flee, and it's talking about Esau. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. That iron weapon is the missiles, and it shall draw and come out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. Okay? All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him, and shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, which is happening now, and the earth shall rise up against him. Okay? And the earth is rising up against him. Okay? The nations. The nations are mad. Okay? We find out who we are. We're mad. Okay? The earth is, is, is basically rising up against him. That's why if they stand in the sun too long, they get, they get skin cancer. Their skin start paling. Okay? They get all types of diseases. Okay? Now what? The animals, okay, are catching on to who this man is. And now they're starting to do what they're doing, okay? So everybody's rising up against Esau, Edom, okay? Um, it's 
Okay. This I uh, uh Sirach 39, 27. All these things are for good, for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on stro sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Okay? Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Okay? And these poachers got what they deserve, man. Okay? And you wait till uh we finally hit the day of Jacob's trouble, which we're vastly, you know, we're quickly coming into day by day. Okay? A lot of these animals that Esau eat them got locked up in these uh these zoos, okay, which that's going off. They're gonna come loose and they're gonna be on the streets just you know plowing people down, man. Okay? Including you Edomites. They really gonna come after you Edomites. It's happening now. You seeing uh animals, you seeing mountain lions uh 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 mile down, you seeing uh wolves and stuff coming, attacking you and your pets. Your dogs, your cats, okay? So that's what it is, man, okay? But Job 5 and the 5th chapter tells the, us that the elect, okay, don't have to worry about that. That the animals are going to, how the animals are going to be peace with our tabern tabernacles, or so to say, okay? So, you know, this was a real quick article, you know, call Hello Allah, Yahweh by Shem Yahusha, you know, Lord willingness was edifying. Shalom to the left.